happening now. WSFA 12 News Telethon benefiting the Boys and Girls Clubs of the River Region. The phone lines are open. We're ready to take your generous donations. WSFA 12 News anchors Sally Pitts and Jasmine Williams are live right now in our secondary student for the very latest update. How are things going over there now that we're just a little over an hour into the telethon? It's been going well so far. We have raised just over $17,000. Someone gave a $14,000 donation earlier this week, but you know, no donation is too big. No donation is too small. It all makes a real difference. Someone just called in back here not too long ago, gave $500. $200. A, a good friend of ours, Verd, said, hey, if you called in, call your friends next and tell them to call in too. <laughs> Challenge your friends to donate. This is Arthur Penn. He is a board member for the Boys and Girls Clubs of the River Region. Why did you want to be part of this great organization? Well, I mean, it, it, it goes without saying. It's, it's a great organization and what it does for our community, our kids, um, and the parents. You know, everybody benefits. You know, the whole family benefits. And what we're doing with the Boys and Girls Club, I'm reminded, I'm reminded of the song by Whitney Houston, The Greatest Love of All. When it first comes on, it says, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty that they possess inside. And you guys know the rest of the lyrics. So with that said, the Boys and Girls Club, we have a mission to, to make our future better. And our future in general is better, you know, through our children because they are our future. And that's why we we're asking the public, businesses, everyone to, you know, donate, give to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, your money is not in vain. Your giving is never in vain. You know, it's more blessed to give than to receive. You know, and these these donations is going to help us to uh, improve our community. It's going to help us to uh, make the kids' education better. You know, uh, Ms. Luella mentioned earlier about the, the vans and transportation. We, we both know, all, we all know that you, there's nothing free in this world. And you got to pay for something. So why not, you know, make donation to something worthwhile that's going to benefit, you know, our children. The bus, you know, the vans will, you know, get them back and forth to uh, from school to the clubs and, um, you know, different correct, you know, extracurricular activities that we do. Our edu education program. I mean, that's that, that's that's our focus right now because we know um, certain children in you know certain areas they struggle you know, in certain subjects. So our tutorial program that we have uh, in the afternoons, you know, it helps benefit the children and that's less homework the, the parents gotta, gotta do when we get home, you know? So that, that's, that's, that's my uh, rendition of uh, the Boys and Girls Club and what they actually do for the community as a whole. And it's comfort to parents to know that someone who cares about your kids are picking them up. They have safe transportation from school to the safe location Absolutely. where someone will sit there, go through their book bag with them, make sure they're doing what they need to do. And then when you get off work, you don't have to worry about that extra right. step. I agree. And the Boys and Girls Club is, uh, is it's kind of like a, um, it's the bigger uh, daycare center, if you will. You always want to make sure your children are safe in a good environment where they're going to actually uh, get some type of structure, some type of discipline, and uh, help with, with, like I said, their, their education. And that, that's, that's important. And uh, like I said, our tutorial program is great. I see a lot of uh, college students, um, retired teachers coming in and out. You know, so that, that, that helps out a whole lot, uh, especially, like I said, with the parents. Because certain things we as parents may not know. That's another good point. We want you to call and donate and give financially today. But if you can't do that, volunteer your time. Just yes. give what you can. Give whatever you can. But again, he said nothing is free. Vans cost money. We always talk on the news. Gas prices going up. That gas costs money. They need that help. They need that help to get those kids to and from the clubs safe and sound every day. I agree. We hope you will be part of this important mission with us here today. Bethany. All right, ladies, we'll check in with you in just a few more minutes.